Hello my strange and charmed ones and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got something of a different video for you guys. I'm actually going to be reviewing a stationary subscription box from one of my favorite YouTube channels and friend I'd like to say here on YouTube and on Instagram, Miss Brimbles, also known as Anna Brim. Recently Anna reached out to me because she has started a new endeavor. She is starting a stationary subscription box and I'm, from what I can gather it's actually been going on for a short while now but it's still a relatively new product out on the stationary market and she wanted to know if I would be willing to receive one from her and review it. So I have received in my box, it's here as you can see um, and I'm really excited to open it up. But before we do, I want to give you guys a little bit of background on the box and some information on it. So Anna's done a really good job, in my opinion, with her Brimbles box, setting it up, because she's offering a few different options when it comes to your box. Now, there are three different boxes, I believe, um, that you can subscribe to, uh, depending on what your stationary needs are. And two of the three boxes are Filofax, or planner related, um, and so you can actually purchase a personal size box, um, an A5 box, or you can purchase a general stationary box. Now, I think that's really awesome because if you do have one planner size over another, you can make sure that the items that you're receiving, if there's anything that is insert or size specific, that it actually does fit your planner, which I think is awesome. Anna also has something of a subscription discount um, so that you actually will be charged less money if you purchase a subscription like an ongoing subscription as opposed to purchasing one box at a time. As far as pricing goes, if you were to purchase one single box that is £18 um, because Miss Brimbles is located in the UK um, and if you purchase a subscription it goes down to £15. Now, Anna obviously also ships to the US as well, so how does that equate to US dollars? Okay, so for the higher priced option, the single individual box, 18 pounds is roughly the equivalent of about $27 US right now, um, and the 15 pound box um, is the equivalent of about $22, $23. Then on top of that, of course, Anna does charge shipping, because obviously it costs a lot in shipping for these boxes to come across the pond to the US. Um, and right now, shipping is a little bit high, um, and it is also an additional 15 British pounds, and again, another $22, $23 for shipping. So overall, for this box, if you are purchasing it um, at the discounted rate for the subscription, you're looking at about $45 you're spending for this reoccurring subscription box if you're in the US. Obviously, it's quite less expensive if you're in UK. Um, UK shipping is only 250 British pounds, which obviously, if you live in the UK, you know how that can compares to other shipping costs, which to me it seems pretty pretty normal. Um, but again, if you are in the US, it is a little bit of a hefty fee for um, shipping overseas. Now, we're going to open this box up and see if this is something that is worth it, um, because I do have a few preliminary thoughts about this. Um, but as we go along, I will share those with you. Okay, so here is the box, and I do have a two-screen system going on right now so that um, you guys are going to be able to see what is inside the box as I open it. I will say that for like a small business, like the sort of startup that Anna's got, this box is actually pretty nice. Um, it's nice and sturdy, and I think that it, coming all the way from the UK, it has very few bumps and bruises, which is awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys have the first look at this. Um, and I will have the alternate view. Um, but as you can see inside, we've got, um, so first off, immediately I'm noticing a lot of fuchsia paper in here, which I'm really excited about, but there is also a nice little card um, on the top. So let's pull that out. And it is saying the month of love, and it has a really cute little um, graphic on the side with some hearts, it look like paper hearts. And then of course it has some, you know, a little note from Anna on the back, and I'm gonna go ahead and read that. 
Ah, February, the month of love. Whether you are in love, out of love, or somewhere in between, everyone deserves a special little treat, in my opinion. If nothing else, this the month of love is a good excuse to surround ourselves with lots of pink, pastels, and cuteness. That's true. Uh, gotta have some cuteness, and I like to extend that through my stationery as well. So in this month's box, indulge your waistline friendly, that's so cute, sweet treats and lovely things. Happy Valentine's Day, Anna XOXO. So this is really cute. And like, if you have ever been um, part of any other subscription services, you know that they do have a little sort of welcome card that kind of gives you an overview of the theme of the box. Obviously, this is February's box. It's going to be Valentine's Day themed, which is very appropriate. So let's move on into the goodies in this box. This is so cute. She's got a little sticker on it that says lovely things. How cute is that? And a little bit of like paper hearts in here. So cute. I'm like, I don't want to rip this up because it's so pretty. Ah. <gasps> okay. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay. So there's just a lot of just general cuteness, as she said in here. Ah, the first thing that I is on top, I'm just going to dive in, is um, a pink and white striped package. It says, thank you. Okay, so this is too cute. Okay, so this is a little dashboard. Oh my God, look at the little ladybug. Isn't she so cute? Now, if I'm right, and I do believe, I, I, if I've already gotten a sneak peek at some of these boxes. This is Anna's original artwork. Um, if you didn't know, Anna does run an Etsy shop. Um, and she does make a lot of stationary items that are, you know, of her own design. And she is a very good little artist. I love her little, I don't know, it just seems so eclectic and cute. I just like her art. I think it's very cute and very uh, posh. Is that a word that they use in the UK? I think so. For like stationary lovers, I think this is a really cute little dashboard. So very nice. So this is our first little item. Very cute. Ah! <gasps> Oh my God, there's so much in here. Oh my God, I'm like dying right now. Hold on. Okay, hold on. What is this? <sighs> Sorry, I want to make sure the cameras are seeing it. Okay, so let me see what this is. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure because a lot of the words on here are actually in, it looks like some Asian, yeah, I think it's some Asian brand, so I'm not sure I can't read what it says, but it looks like it's correction tape, but it's a heart, and it looks like it's two correction tapes that kind of like fit together. Like, how cute is that? Ugh, so cute. It is, this is like super duper cute, and I hope it actually is correction tape. That or it's some sort of, no, it looks like correction tape. It's that or it's, um, you know, in like adhesive rollers, but it looks like correction tape from the bottom. So, so cute. I'll put that aside. That's really cute. Ah, a lot more hearts. I love hearts and like little stringy things. So cute. Okay, what's this? OMG. Okay, you guys. So this says my favorite things and it says it's a sticker set. How cute is that? It's like a little girl on the back. There's like a little bunny. It's so cute. I'm playful. I'll let you guys see that too up here. How cute is that? 80 fun stickers. Let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see what we got. These 80 fun stickers. Oh, look how cute you guys. Oh, I like that page. Look at that heart. I like that there's like all hearts and different like desserts and things like that. How cute is that? Super cute. I think this is great for, this is like nice, not even just for Valentine's Day, but also for like Easter coming up because that little bunny guy. And I've never seen anything like this. So that brings me on to a really good point about this box, which is um, for people who are purchasing from the US, this is going to be filled with a lot of things that we don't have access to um, easily, which is really awesome. So a lot of these things are probably like British brands that We've never really even seen. Let me see if there's a name on this. Rachel Ellen is this, and it looks like this is also Rachel Ellen. It looks like the same uh, or very similar um, motif, and it's a sticky notes. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? 
How freaking cute is that? It says 180 gorgeous sticky notes in three sizes by El Rachel Ellen. So let's see. Let you guys get the first peek. How cute. Oh, it's like all desserts. So it's like a long sticky note, a normal size sticky note, and then some page flag sticky notes. How cute is that, you guys? So cute. Oh my goodness. Definitely never seen anything like this before. This is obviously a British brand. Um, very cute. Okay. So as we continue to go along, I'm seeing a pink pen. How cute. This is a Uniball Signo. That's a good pen. That's a really good pen. It's pink. Does it write pink? Ooh, I'm going to have to test it real quick. Yeah, it does. It writes pink. Okay, how cute is that? Okay, so a nice little pen as well. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, I see washi tape. <gasps> oh, some Valentine's Day washi, which is awesome because I've been really avoiding buying Valentine's Day washi because I just feel like I have enough washi. I don't need to spend money on it. But this is so cute. Let's see what it says on it. The brand says the container group, again, uh, .co.uk. So these are all British brands that people in the U.S. aren't going to be able to get readily available. So um, this says love, with love. Yeah, it looks, it looks like it says with love. And it's red with hearts. Very, very cute. Awesome. Okay. And then the next thing is in like this nice little, oh my goodness, I saw it. Ah, oh, look how cute. It's in like a little, it's own little baggie. And it is a planner charm. And it's a little Snoopy with a little blue heart. How cute, you guys. That is super cute. What you guys see up here as well. How cute is that? How cute is that? That's super cute. So this is definitely like a lot of different planner stuff that are really awesome. I definitely, so far, I'm really impressed. Okay, and I think this is probably the last thing right here. Look at all this stuff. It's so cute. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see this is like a mess of cuteness. Absolutely love it. Oh my God, I just died. I just saw what this was. You guys, it's macaroons. Macaroon erasers. Oh my gosh. Wow. You guys, you know I love macaroons and these are a set of macaroon erasers. I've never seen these before. Kudos to Anna for finding the cutest things. Oh, you guys know I love like blue. Look at this blue one. <gasps> so cute. I would never erase a thing with these. I would just keep them and make them look pretty up on my desk. How cute is that? <gasps> See? Oh, that is absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. Okay, so I do believe that is the end of the box. Okay, you guys, so that was what was inside of the Brimbles box for February. I have to say that I really am like sincerely impressed with the quality of the items in here um, and the quality of the presentation and all of that jazz. Now, a few things that I just wanna say, um, kind of to talk about a few things, which the big thing that I mentioned at the beginning and I said I had some more thoughts on um, is the price, right? So if you're in the UK, this is definitely absolutely worth the price for you in the UK um, because the shipping isn't too bad. I talked to Anna and she said that the value of the boxes, they are valued at what the face value of the box is. Um, although I'll be honest, I don't know how it's valued at the face value because I honestly think that um, with some of these items, like just how much I would personally pay for a custom dashboard or a cute little planner charm and even like these stickers and like the macaroon erase like everything I mean you know that you know it, the price of washi varies but you know a lot of these things seem a little bit more expensive so I don't know if I don't know how Anna's coming up with how much the value is but I definitely think that if you're in the UK this is definitely worth the price like absolutely um, absolutely if you're in the UK um, now for the people in the US Obviously, the price of the box basically doubles because of shipping, which is the unfortunate fact about having shipping from the UK to the US. And Anna is a small establishment. She has her Etsy store. She is obviously like a little bit, I would say she's big on YouTube and on Instagram, but you know, she's not like a big box retailer and she's not like a big brand name. But I definitely think that these items are, like I said, I think that they were worth more than um, what the cost of the box is, which I think then goes ahead and eats at the price of the delivery fee. 
So I definitely think that these were some unique items that are brands that we just don't have in the U.S. Um, and just some things that I'll be really honest, I just haven't ever seen. And you know me, I'm like all over the place with stationary goodies on Etsy and things like this. A lot of these things are items I've never even seen before. Um, so I'm kind of really impressed. And I think that if you are in the U.S. and you do have the money to spend, maybe you're a planner addict, um, and you would like to get this sort of su surprise subscription box, I definitely think that you should be checking this out because it is really well done. It's coming from a person who whose personal brand is out there on the internet in multiple different places. Like, you know who Anna is if you watch her videos and follow her on YouTube and on social media. And I will, of course, be sure to be linking her everywhere down below that you can find her. Um, but yeah, she's a personality that you're already familiar with and definitely can trust. And this is a small operation that's just started. So I can imagine that if you subscribe now, a few months down the road, like, she may have like really awesome things going on as her subscription base continues to grow. So I would say, you know, you know, I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money. Obviously, I got this box for free. Um, but I do think that if I had to pay for this box, this is filled with enough things that I think that the value is there for the experience and the cuteness and just having these items that in the U.S. seem really rare. So if this was cute to you, um, if you liked this box, definitely, definitely check her out and I will go ahead and leave that down below, all of the information down below. So yeah, that is Mrs. Brimble's box for February. One more thing Anna did want me to mention is that she does have extras of certain goodies, um, like one-offs from this box that are up in her Etsy shop. So if you did see anything here that you like and you just want to buy something as a one-off, um, go ahead and go to her Etsy shop. Of course, it'll be linked down below um, for you to go and check out. So yeah, definitely check those out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a little bit of a one-off video, but if you guys want to see more reviews like this from me, let me know um, because I would like to know if that's something that you would like me to be showing you guys. I am, as you can tell, very selective about the people and the brands that I work with because I, you know, I get a lot of offers for people to send me things and I do turn the vast majority of them down. And there's various reasons for that. Obviously, if it's something I don't like and I don't want, I'm not going to let someone send me something for free and, um, and talk about it with you guys and try to sell it to you guys. Um, but for something like this where, you know, Anna is an established name in our planner community and I think that she obviously holds herself to a high standard, this is something that I'm more than happy to show you guys. So let me know if things like that would interest you. Um, and let me know if you end up signing up with Anna down below or if you've seen it before, um, or if there's any other subscription services. I know there are a few out there, but like I said, for me, it's all about, you know, trusting the brand and the reputation behind it. And Miss Brimbles to me is up there. So definitely give her a try and let me know if you like um, this sort of stuff. And make sure to follow me all over social media. My Instagram is doing um, spectacular right now. I've got like 6,500 people following me on Instagram. Thank you guys. I know it's up be all because of YouTube. So thank you guys so much. Um, also wanted to make sure that you guys are following me on my Facebook uh, page, my Strange and Charmed Facebook page, because I've got a lot of things coming down the pike specifically for my Facebook page that you're not going to be able to see. I just put up a review of the Webster's Pages Color Crush binder that I received. If you guys noticed in my Instagram that I had received that, I'm not writing a blog post about it. And so far I've decided I'm not doing a YouTube. It's just on Facebook, the review. So if you want to go see it, go and like that page and follow me because I'm going to be putting some exclusive content on my Facebook feed that you cannot get anywhere else. So definitely check it out. If you like this video, of course, make sure you give it a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to me for more awesome videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.